Why is it called I White guess. Lies? It's racist. You are so woke. <laughs> let's that stop. Let's cancel that. I guess you're actually so right, though. It's not like a Caucasian lie. Like, it's like just like, like maybe the color. I nah, don't... it's wrong. It's probably made up by whites. Pop off, Jeff. to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah. What's this new intro music? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to be back with two eyes open, no laptop in front of me, so it's Two weird. eyes open. Yeah, I took the stitches out myself. Yeah, did you? Yeah. yeah. I FaceTimed the doctor. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah. It's simple. Oh. It was just a snip and a pull, and it popped right out. It felt good. That's crazy. You sent me a photo. I don't think you can even put it on the podcast. No, I'm not of your eye open where they they push your eye up right they push your yeah. eye up to like in your forehead i don't where I don't does know it even where go it goes. i don't want to know but it's like a photo that literally looks like you have no eye in yeah. your eye socket and it's yeah. i could paint it at this point like it like really like yeah scarred me and you you texted me back and you put like a whole oh is my still on i, I feel like i'm still auto-tuned maybe i just sound great yeah maybe this is the start of your singing career it's our new recorder oh yeah yeah that's crisp it's nice yeah, it's giving ASMR. So you texted me back, and then you just put a whole bunch of like extra like stuff, spaces. so it it didn't show. I and never, that's nice. yeah, I never want to see that again. I don't want to see it either. Well, I guess yeah. We were at dinner when you said that too. Yeah, I was eating food. Like, thank you, sweetie, Damn, sweetheart. Bro. But so much has happened. We did a lot. You came to visit me up there. Obviously, we, that was our last podcast episode, so yes. people know that. It's so funny. All the TikTok comments were like, "I'm so worried about Jeff. He's gonna get addicted to painkillers and like all this." I was like popping off in the comments because it's like, no, he just got his eye ripped out of his head and has to take them. Like, yeah, I've you know run I mean? 40 miles since the surgery. Well, the way that running a mile is like fixes everything in Jeff's eyes. You could be like, yeah, no, I murdered someone, but then I ran 10 miles. So you know, it, it evens out. <laughs> it's so funny that you say this because we know a guy that goes to our gym. Uh -huh. He's addicted to running. He got yeah. caught up doing some really bad. Yeah. And he just became an ultra marathon athlete. And it's like, bro, that doesn't wipe you clear. Oh, are you talking about the, he's like a, he's, mm. he, we, I don't want to, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say it because yeah, I go to the gym and see him. But yeah, there's people yeah. that do bad and then they just go for runs a lot and they think it, it wipes your record clean. Yeah, it's literally no. you. But if you have a substance in your bloodstream and you want to, you want to pump your blood so it pumps through your system, through your liver, gets out of you. The best way to do it is get your heart rate up. So like if you're tripping on acid, just like go for a run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for a run, drink water, and you'll yeah. get it out of your system. I'm going to start just like adapting that motto to my lifestyle. Like, oh my God, I'm really sorry I cheated on you, but I ran 10 miles today. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> what are you going to say? You know? Thanks, yeah. guys. They might be happy about that, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, thank God you you ran it off. Like, you, know? you cheated, but you know what? You're going to be fucking. I think I so you're going to be looking great. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. That's that's the new thing for me, for sure. I, my, I've been running too much. My feet are fucking bad. I came downstairs yesterday while we were editing, and I just showed them my feet. I was like, yo, I got the ugliest feet in the world. Are you flat footed or do you have an arch? No, I got an arch. They were good feet, but I messed them up myself. Flat footed men is like a weird ick for me. I don't blame you. That's, <laughs> it's like Mike, Mike has flat feet. Yeah, he looks like flippers. They're big, long feet. And it's almost like you can look at someone and tell if they're flat footed or not. Yeah, you can tell from Mike's face. That's a good point. <laughs> Bro, do you know who Rick Owens is? Yeah. Like the designer? Of do you, you know who the f you're talking to? Do I know oh, who Rick Owens is? Oh, you know Owens who Rick is? Owens is. Yeah, I've been but, in this fashion game for before you were even out of high school. Before you were even born. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, can you pull up a photo of Rick Owens and Mike Malak side by side? No way. Yeah. Fashionable Mike? I No, 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 no. I was so high the other day and I was watching... Um, Rick Owens do something. I need to find the specific video. And I was like, oh my God, Rick Owens and Mike Maylock kind of look alike. But it might have been a high thought. With you, like, Holy shit. About that do you see what I mean, though? Yeah, I see. It's it's him. It's high fashion Mike. Like Mike in like 30 years if he grew out his hair. Can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. And don't take this the wrong way. I mean it in the best way possible. Oh, I found out. Piss me off. No, no, no. I found out who you remind me of. And you might be happy about it. And it's not of you now, but it's you in the future. Can I guess right now? Uh, sure, yeah. What's her name? Joan Rivers. No. Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so I was watching. Hot I, dog, real bad. She's so dope. She's so funny. Yeah. And I mean, like. I, you don't see the the like relation between you two. Yeah, she has that personality where she's just like, I don't give a f 
like she's on Xanax no. 24 seven, well, you know, her eyes are like this. I love Jennifer Coolidge more than anything. Yeah. I take that as such a compliment. Yeah. She, she did an interview like six months ago where she was talking about how she had two boyfriends and she convinced them both that she had a twin sister no so way. she could date them both at the same time. No way. And I was like, that is my president. She did an interview where after American Pie, she said that she be, she had like sex with like 200 men because of that movie. Oh my God. Wait, did she, this is you in 20, 30 years? <laughs> How how much older is she than you? A lot, I think. I don't know actually her age. And I she's like she can gets Botox and is like what? I'm getting Botox so today. The Are way you? I want to be offended by that, but I'm it's getting the Botox. Same. They're the same. They're the same. That's she's you. She's 61. 40 years. Jeff just compared me to a 61 year old. I'm saying <laughs> you now in 40 years will be Jennifer Coolidge, and I think that's great. That's so cool. I used to think like I'm gonna be like Ray Liotta in 40 years. You know, but oh, he passed. Is. He just died. He passed away. RIP. Younger reference, maybe. Um, I say that to Jeff all the time. Younger reference, come younger on. Younger reference. I, I mean, I, it, I can't give you one because it's somebody I'm going to be in 30 years. Yeah, give that, you a younger reference. I guess that's fair. I don't know, maybe Brad Pitt. Okay. You, know, you, you know? want to be Brad Pitt. Well, <laughs> just, I love Jennifer like Coolidge. Look at her. She's you know, the also, best. I saw this kind of psychic who thing. like... And she says there were a lot of mm, benefits for playing Stifler's mom. I got a lot of play of being a MILF and I... um. And I got a lot of sexual action from <laughs> American Pie. Just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just talking about the, there were so many benefits to doing that movie. I mean, there were about like, like 200 people that I would have never had slept with. <laughs> I love her. Specific lot. She just hosted an award. We have to get her on the show. She just hosted an award show and like killed it too. Like, so my energy was dope. She's too A list to get her on the show, right? <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, Jennifer Coolidge is not going on Jeff FM. I'm she sorry. might see you and be like, this is my <laughs> daughter. Yeah. That's true. I feel like we'd get along for sure. Hell yeah. I reference her a lot. She's dope. I need to watch White Lotus. She's in that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I watched both seasons straight through yeah. while i was recovering and sydney sweeney's in that right she's in the first season but then they switch it up completely for the second yeah. season except for jennifer she's the only one that stays in for the next season that's iconic yeah it's the best i love to see it it's a really good show it's really good acting it's really like subtle acting so it feels real it's not like cheesy like sitcom yeah. what's acting. it about again like it's hotel just that are, yeah just all f***ed up people staying in this resort and all the crazy it happens like they're on vacation, vacation or they live there they're on vacation there but it's like a long vacation and somehow it works out that so much has happened in such a short period of time that it, they're able to spread it out for a whole series me and Paige always <coughs> talk about this like i feel like before i met you and i got like close with you i was dialing back on my offensive humor yeah you were you weren't like, that funny before oh cool <laughs> you got way funnier well i i've always had it in me but it was more of like an off-camera thing i like dialed back because I, I feel like the apology mindset was still there. You know what I mean? Like I was really... And Your we, brain was still developing. Oh, oh, so you groomed me. There's uh, nothing uh, sexual <laughs> going on here. I just I groomed your comedy career. And look at you now. <laughs> we did the steamies. Mm. Every comment is, yo, Tana is hilarious. Tana's a real comedian. Tana's fucking... And Jeff's handsome. You know how that makes me feel? All I get is, oh, you're just... Fucking. I would say that 90% <laughs> of the time though, and you've said this, the comments are in your favor normally. Yeah. You, so you just didn't like being a backseat to a woman, let alone, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it's yeah. scary for sure. I'm crushed, really sorry. I'll crushed. get. I'll make you a sandwich or something like later. Yeah. Um, you better. <laughs> <laughs> but Paige and I call this um the Jeff effect. Like whenever I say a really offensive joke, I'm like, that's the Jeff effect. There's we've we've used the Jeff effect for that something. Actually, got coined by Ivan. He said that to Steven oh because he started acting like a gangster going around trying to press people and stuff <laughs> i mean before that but yeah <laughs> yeah 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 the jeff effect is multiple effects the yeah. 10 personalities i believe it so yeah, yeah. there's a yeah but you did real good on the show um the steamies um, was so fun it really was i had a lot of fun actually yeah love that crew love their workflow over there how they have yeah things set so the live show can flow and they don't have yeah. to yeah worry about things that, well they, ethan does say crazy all the time yeah. they try to keep him you know more pc yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah you're really just, just good go at, come in black phase you're yeah. good at what? oh wow um you're really good at sucking the fart out of that for the both of us though what do you mean <laughs> like, oh like just like i don't think he would have invited me back if it wasn't for you like you're good at being like 
the family over here at age three. Like, well, I that's feel like our, I just got like grandfathered in somehow. We got like 60% of that family over here to our family. So yeah, if you're here from age three after the steamies this week, hello. We and he's bound you. to go down again for some sort of cancellation. So are and we. And they're going to, no, we've been steering clear of all this bullshit. Jeff is like convinced that we're never like, I, mm. no, I think it's we're good. We would If we would have fucked up, we would have done it live on the show, you know? Oh, we I don't mean for a, that. Went through a whole live show navigating, talking on our friends and I think yeah. we did a pretty good job we were both a little nervous to do lives for sure you know yeah. we, we got through it and it was great we had a blast 100% I forgot we were even live at some points I said death to all coyotes we should kill every coyote yeah I was you know and you said yeah. we lost the PETA sponsor we and definitely lost said, the PETA me too though because I was like maybe Logan Paul's pig wanted to go there <laughs> like I don't know yeah. what I said like it was just awful we, we did a good job I'm proud I of us I feel like we did and there was a lot of things too that we, I feel like we wanted to touch on but we refrained from because we knew it could like we'd save it for here and edit it which is good we'll have the option to edit it yeah have the option to take things out because that's I feel like that's why you and I both hate live is we very much like speak our mind and are just unhinged I want as- I want to be in here raw, unfiltered. Yeah. You know, this is the real us. But the option to cut it out is always great. With the option to remove some of too real. Bro, I was going through my my old TikToks last night. Like I was just looking at my TikToks in like 2022 and 2021 and shit. And I used to be so much more unhinged when it came to like drama. Like all my old TikToks were like, fuck Bella Thorne. She's a fucking cunt. She fucked me over. Like oh, not yeah? literally, but like on TikTok. Like I'm trying to think of other people that I like just came at i was coming at people's necks yeah left and right uh maybe i wasn't seeing this stuff back then i don't know because i feel like you're way more now like when you got into that monty and you you went off on him like i was like yo this gangster She's i was dope. so much worse at that time unhinged i would call anyone out for anything well, and lucky like keep... lucky monty then if you got this version of you i guess that's very true i went in on monty though but that's just because that was so wrong like yeah i feel like someone would like mildly inconvenience me and i was like drafting up my smear campaign yeah like which was crazy okay real quick today's episode is sponsored by doordash it's probably time to pick up your groceries when you're eating ramen for the fourth time this week on or off campus you can use doordash to save you that last minute grocery run look it saves you the time and the effort of going to the grocery store cooking food whatever you got to do you just go on your phone and you order the food they drop it off right at your door simple as that get the back to school savings you really want and get unlimited free doordash delivery with dash pass just 4.99 a month for students how worth it so worth it with zero delivery fees exclusive items and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide Dash Pass and DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in one hour or less, so you can satisfy those spur of the moment cravings, or even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. Dash Pass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving your grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited $0 delivery fees. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM23. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code JeffFM23. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM23 for 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with the DoorDash app subject to change terms apply all right now back on with the show can we get cody on the line yeah i was uh saying- I think he posted three positive pregnancy tests he put well he announced an abortion is what he did there. <laughs> that's that's what is weird about it because you never hear of anybody doing an announcement like that like you do a soft launch for your boyfriend cody did a hard launch abortion post like I've i got never- my girl pregnant and uh, we ain't keeping it like this is what this is his Instagram story. You're gonna cut you saying you know. No, I don't give a. F- I leave. The, I, I'm not cutting anything. So far, everything we said, we're gonna start being like H3 and just leave it all in. Can we make a twenty dollar bet on if you cut that or not? Yeah, yeah. What did I even say? I don't remember. <laughs> Cody, what? Um, but Co- no, it. he does. He puts all this shit out there. Like I feel like I've been open more on my Snapchat because like <laughs> I'm, share, I'm sharing more. But I the would- way you just managed to turn someone's abortion announcement into a promo for your Snapchat no, I'm not is even- the most insane <laughs> I have ever f-ing witnessed. I wasn't even. I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like I've been. Mean, <laughs> I'm not one to share much of my life. You know. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no. So to think Definitely like. Not. 
to think, uh, yeah, I do. I do five podcasts a week. I <laughs> post my whole life. I'm sorry. Who the f- do I think I am? I have this weird vision of myself that I'm still selling drugs. I'm still out, fuck, in and out of jail. But really, I'm just a f- ass influencer now. I'm always here to humble you, but you're not a f- ass influencer. Yeah, I'll. I I'll think, f- look at uh, greatest redemption arc yeah you yeah know, you've done some things the yeah American my whole dream my whole over the past is dead over the past like week i'd say my whole music taste has changed i'm like i'm back on the young shit. i'm i'm listening to like baby Yeet. baby keem 21 yeah, savage yeah, yeah. um i'm just listening to all this new are shit. we switching roles you know i've listened yeah. to country all week old country i don't really like country ever but i've never liked country in my entire life and i just woke up one day and i like love it i think i'm in my wholesome era yeah that's not you're not switching roles with me i was more like classic rock like listen to yeah. the, even the beatles like stuff my parents listen to uh-huh but you like music if it just reminds you of a, a time in your life yeah 100 percent. so i think i like that classic rock as i was going through like a weird phase yeah yeah. But now I'm back and I'm like feeling young and gangster again. I just want to listen to 21 Savage. This I was is scaring me. I was running past, I, like I've been making Snapchats and I was running past this group of old white ladies walking. They're like big dogs and stuff. Uh-huh. And I, I put 21 Savage on and I just filmed them <laughs> like gang. You're it's, awful. Just, it's just so funny to see old white ladies and you just have 21 Savage bumping. Can we circle back to announcing the abortion? I Like I was yeah. speechless and I'm I'm really like, I can't, I've never seen that in my life. I'm just worried. Imagine I did that. Like yeah. posted a pregnancy test and I was like, gonna eat this later. Like, <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd... You know how he's been selling like skydiving plans? Yeah. Imagine he starts selling like at-home abortion at plans. Home abortions. Abortion is dope though. Like, you know, abortion's dope. I'm here for a pro-choice. Is he not answering? So. Uh, I, I told him I was gonna send him the Zoom link like 10 minutes ago, but he just said, okay. I didn't respond. Well, we have a lot to talk about. We can just. Start. I wanted to go in like nice. Do you, do you want to call him and tell him to join? Yeah. And we'll just like cut to it. Yeah. Yo, can you do it? Yeah, I mean, they're sending it to me now. And I was going to send me shit. He sent it to you. He said he sent it to you. All right, I'm going to get it right now. All right, thank you. Tana's here. It's me and Tana. Bye right, bye. Bye. I think he's at the clinic right now doing it, taking oh. care of business. So you want to phone in someone <laughs> at an abortion clinic? I'm about only at Jeff FM. Look, I just asked <laughs> only at Jeff FM. I just asked the questions, you know? I yeah. said, Do you want to come on the show? I don't yeah. know where he's at. He just said, Yo, I'm, I'm here doing this. Yeah. So if he wants to get on the phone right now, it's him that's choosing to get on and do an interview while he's dealing with this. Oh, I would be so fing sick if I was like <laughs> Yeah, you're fing in the if, head at no, that moment. No, if I was with a guy. And he was like <laughs> holding my hand during my abortion. And he was like, yo, one second, I have to phone into a podcast. I think I'd commit murder. I'm not even, I'm actually not even joking. I hope he doesn't call in. No, he's gonna, he's gonna. I would say this may be the most unhinged he is. episode of Jeff. Looking good, looking good. You got a nice haircut from Nick over there in Staten Island, huh? Yeah, looking good, right? Yeah, yeah. How you feeling? I feel good. Nice. We were talking about you over here, Tana and I, right now. <laughs> Where are you, Cody? I'm in New York, and it's really cold. No, not the state. Like, more, like, what are you doing? Oh, um, I'm just chilling. I'm in the car. Are you by yourself? Can we talk normally? Yeah, by myself. Okay, because when you have your girl around, I get nervous. You know, I don't want to say anything <laughs> crazy, but I'm she knows who, she knows who she's with. You know, she knows. She knows what she's she got herself into. It's so hard to get me speechless. Like, I, what, uh, what about what I got myself into? I was happily single. Yeah, and now you are a father. Now you're. I mean, you're. You normally you could just walk from a relationship, but you took the next step. Um, obviously, I'm referencing your post on Instagram where you posted the positive yeah. pregnancy tests. Not the one step, Plan B. You announced an ab- abortion. No, but that shit's you... over. She took care of it today. Oh, she took care of it already this morning. Yeah. Her body, her choice. Her body, her choice. Yeah. What a gentleman. Yeah. So why the announcement on IG? I support either decision. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the Is, way to do it. That's a gentleman way, Cody. That do you is, feel yeah, like she misled me. She told me she wanted to have a baby with me. When she got pregnant, she backed out of it. So <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm yeah. not a woman. I can't get pregnant. I can only get people pregnant. <laughs> 
Is she upset that you're not, you know, by her side today, bringing her some soup, maybe? I'm by her side. I'm picking her up food right now. This is what I'm doing. Actually, Look. I'm doing all the right like, things. It's what like a that? McDouble. Is that Chipotle? <laughs> is that Chipotle? No, it's a, a veggie burger. I'm out here freaking on on house bed rest with her and all this stuff that's nice. doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's okay. nice. He's a gentleman. Cody's a good guy. Okay. Stuff like this, you know, he's solid. He's a good guy to have yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. So honestly, I'm a little disappointed in myself because I felt like she should have been on birth control at this age and we should have took way better precautions. Well, you were in that uh, villa over there in, in the Maldives, you know, at that moment. That's definitely a come in me villa, you know. <laughs> I, I would hit someone with a come in me there. <laughs> Is that a, yeah, that, do you agree that's a come in me villa? Is that where it went down? I think see that's where it happened. That's a had hundred. That's a come me villa. <laughs> that's a come me villa. Add it to the description on the website. Honestly, for the Maldives. might sell it. Put that in your travel plans. <laughs> Would you like to upgrade to the come me villa? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I hope my mom yeah. doesn't watch this, man. It's a Christian woman. Yeah, me either. Um, but... I'll tell her to skip it. Uh, well, let's. Yo, get but to honestly, it. it's not that bad as you think because she was only. Two weeks, they couldn't even locate a baby or anything on the sonogram. They had to get blood work to really tell if she was pregnant. Or Maybe not. it was a false so alarm. Like, it's just like having a period. Yeah. Cody, you see this Chinese Smart balloon? People. This Chinese spy balloon floating through the sky. China sent over a spy balloon. No, I never seen it. Well, there's a balloon no. floating around the sky right now. It's it's allegedly Chinese, and it's a, like it's China. used to spy on the U.S. right now. Mike Malak, popular uh, internet personality. He sent a tweet out saying that we need to shoot down that balloon. You know? What the yeah, f do you know, Mike? Yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it's just some... How do we know it's Chinese, first of all? Do you know about the balloon? I don't know about the balloon. How does it... How do you, what do you guys live under a rock? Our nation is under threat right now. I never even heard about this balloon. Watch the news or something. I don't know. I just well, he's got a lot of stuff going on. What's your excuse? You know? I, I got just, a lot of going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he don't give a f Focus on different parts of the news, you know. Euphoria star Chloe Cherry just caught, caught got caught shoplifting. Oh, like, that's that's good. A twenty eight dollar you know. blouse. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, Oscar knows everything. Cody, thank you for calling. Cody, in. Cody, thank you for calling in. Yeah, considering the circumstances. I hope to see you guys soon. I hope we'll the rest you. of your day is better. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. The easy way to save when you're shopping on your iPhone or computer. How do you feel when you find a deal? Do you feel smart, lucky? Excited? What about when you're surprised by a deal? Does it feel like you're getting a treat for free? Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shipping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey saves me tons of money on all the stuff that I buy online, like clothes and gear, gadgets for the shows or props. I just apply that coupon code at the end and I just let the magic happen. Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jefffm. That's joinhoney.com slash jefffm. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring the show. Uh, Isn't Mr. Beast things. getting canceled right now? Because he did all his eye surgeries? Yeah, this probably really hits home with you, right? Um, I DM'd him about it. I was like, yo, you got any more eyeballs left? So and what he, did he, he do? He responded. He was like, LOL, you're funny. It's like a surgery where someone's blind and they, they take out the the clouded part of the middle of their eye. The yeah. Camera, a laser in 10 minutes. But why is he getting canceled? Like it wasn't effective and these people um, were lying? Or? I think he made a comment saying like, why isn't this free or whatever the fuck? Like every, anybody should be getting this. And then it was... Um, People were like, oh, Mr. Beast bought out a hospital and like there's other people that needed surgeries going on, but he got a hospital for a video. There's like, I don't know, there's multiple angles to it. Hassan and Mr. Beast are going on at, at it right now. Oh, Just Hassan's like, got a problem with this? Yeah, there's this? like, I, I don't know, I didn't look too much into it, but there's a lot of disagreement off that video. Yeah. Well, Hassan's mad at like the healthcare system. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's not mad at Mr. Beast. No. I, I, I watched part of it. I didn't watch the whole thing, obviously. You know, I'm not really a big fan of like, feel good like giving away 
videos you don't make you me feel no good you have no soul yeah like so heartless, they're all get, i'm getting Grinch. surgery that's not working and these people are all a thousand people it's successful eye surgeries and mine i still have double vision i was mad at it but i still messaged him i sent him a nice message i said yo you're the youtube jesus you I, you take the crown <laughs> that's good and he was like thank you man were you just like nice. hoping he had like a thousand and one surgery i was hoping he maybe throw me one more there, yeah. There, yeah. there was a tweet that said uh that Mr. Beast is like the Antichrist, that he, he'll he give it, then take it away. But like, he'll take away people's blindness, too. Or, like, give people take away blindness. their vision? He's yeah. gonna, I think so that's he's gonna... a really good thing to do. I don't know all the details, so I can't really weigh in on the situation. But Yeah, do you want to talk more about the Chinese balloon? I was just thinking how much Pull up a picture of it just to get her into this, because I, I, I think you're underestimating this. This I'm is not. a solid topic. But I'm here for it. Our nation is under threat. Or could Educate be... me on the Chinese balloon, and then I'll educate you on some pop culture this week. Okay, and over... We'll both grow. Over Montana, this is wild that our government or military didn't catch it. Mm -hmm. A balloon, like this, uh, a, a device that's flying through the air. Like we're supposed to have it that sees things like that, yeah. you know, radars and stuff, yeah. satellites or whatever. So this thing, it was like people on their phone that were filming it. They're like, yo, what the f is that a spaceship or something? And I wonder then, why they chose Montana, because like, just no one goes there. Uh, there's a nuke base around there. Obviously people go there, but they were probably like, which state? Look, look at that thing. You're not going to fly it over New York. It looks obviously. like a planet. I don't see it. Oh, that thing? It's like a hot air balloon or something. How do we know it's Chinese? That's a good question. I was thinking the same thing myself. Uh, maybe there's Chinese writing on the side of it. I don't think they have a close-up picture. It's but maybe just like somebody... Mr. Beast x China. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a good point. What if it's just some random guy that got a like hot Iraq. air balloon here and, yeah, and put <laughs> Chinese writing on it, you know? And he's just an American YouTuber. That's a good point. <laughs> like that, that image doesn't explain to me <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, how do they know this is Chinese? I feel like someone made that on Microsoft Paint. Yeah, it's from Know Your Meme. Come on, Oscar. No, I know. I'm saying that you guys said it, it was a YouTuber and the YouTube thumbnail. Oh. That is funny. But anybody could really get a hot air balloon. I've jumped out of them. Plenty of times, you know, I've been in them. Like I've, suicidally I've or like oh, with a parachute. When you rent the balloon and you get like the balloon guys, they're like these sketchy guys that pull up in a fucking child abduction van. And they have they pull the balloon out. <laughs> they're just like get in. Yeah, they don't care about your license or anything. They're just like, yeah, you want to jump? It's two hundred bucks, and then yeah. they, whatever. I dump nerf the ashes out of the hot air balloon. Like that shit's a little sketch. I'm sure if I ask them, let me give you an extra hundred to put Chinese writing on the side of this balloon when I jump out of it and we'll make the whole world go nuts over this. Yeah. You know, I should have did that. Giant. Maybe I'll do it in like six months when everybody forgets about this. Honestly, really good, really good plan. Good clickbait. Yeah. We made our own Chinese balloon. So they were gonna <laughs> shoot it down. Mike said, we need to shoot down that balloon. Casey Neistat also tweeted something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And Casey Neistat's it's against the balloon. Casey Neistat is also against the Chinese. I feel like spy every balloon. time Mike presses tweet, he's like, "I'm Elon Musk." Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like his opinion is so the world needs it. One hundred percent. I wonder what his draft tweets look like. Oh my god, I'd pay money to see Mike Malak's draft tweets. Did he write Chinese? We need to shoot down that Chinese balloon. No, he, uh, Mike said something about TikTok. He's like, "How how are we gonna take down TikTok? But we can't take down this balloon or something like that." You can't oh. really see from up in balloons anyway you know what are they gonna really what well, they, intel they have... are they gonna gather so china has a problem with us so allegedly <laughs> i don't know anything allegedly it's a chinese weather balloon that just got like they're saying that it just flew out of their it track Isn't china it, far it's pretty far yeah mm. it's not like you know something just blew over from uh fairfax or something i don't know <laughs> i was just my brain just gave out okay Sick it's balloon. just I don't know. It's just funny. It sounds funny to say Chinese balloon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it. That's as far as you go. Yeah, yeah. I, Chinese spy balloon. Chinese spy balloon sounds pretty funny. I understand where you're coming from for sure. Well, but if they shoot it down and all that whatever technology they have in there, will fall like, in people's fall heads. People. Imagine a laptop just falls in your head, and you're like, "What the fuck, U.S. government? Why? Why didn't you just, you know, yeah. let that Chinese balloon float around and just check in the weather?" Yeah. And now I'm dead from a laptop falling on my head. Yeah. So. Whatever, I guess the government is, yeah, I, I, you know what, they don't know because they didn't even know the fucking balloon was here. They found out from people posting it on TikTok. I'm thinking about what nails I want to get next. Yeah, I Again. know, I know, I know. Let's do a weather segment. Let's do, maybe <laughs> that's Ryan in the weather balloon oh, searching for wow. the I would, I would be so happy if he went Oh, that's out. really, 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 really funny if we put Ryan up in a hot air balloon. I have every dollar on that. You don't have to pay a dime. Oh, yeah. we, I, we I, took him up there. He was like man. freaking out. No, but I want him to do the 
fucking weather, like uh, live <laughs> like this from a hot air balloon, I will pay uh, any I'm just saying, like, it'd money. be so sick if, if we answer the call right now and it's just the white behind him and he's like, yo, it's me in the balloon. Oh uh, my God. I 100%. care about the weather now. I'm going all out. And he's got the whole world talking about it. There's a situation that just is unfolding. Um, so there's no power. We're here in Austin and there's no power yeah. at all. Do you think it's like, weather no related? Power. Yes, it is weather related. It's an ice storm. But this lady just walked into our house. An that's ice next door. storm it's like old lady in Texas? Yeah, there's been an ice storm. We're, we've got nothing to do out here. I bought this f***ing hat. I'm doing 75 hard. I'm not drinking, but you know what? Oh, I'm look, giving it up. Look up oh, wait, in the yeah, sky. You? See if you see I'm that balloon. See if you see that Chinese balloon floating around. I'm loving the I'm making some cocktails. Service. I'm making, I'm mixing this. Why? And uh, this is like antifreeze and a prime. <laughs> I call it the suicide forest. <laughs> oh my God. The f man, come on. He called me and he was like, can I, can I break 75 hard? And I said, no. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. We don't have we don't have power. My phone's gonna die from this weather bit. Well, if you think about it, seventy five hard is really just no drinking. Why don't you just do like crack? There, I have mushrooms. There ain't no ice storm out there, buddy. I don't know what the f drugs. Look at, look at it. I think the mushroom. Look at that. I think you're already on mushrooms. Look for the balloon. Do you even know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know what the Chinese weather balloon is. Well. Can go watch the news or go watch the real weather it's probably on there what happened should we have a segment where ryan switches from weather to news one time yeah you can do it every i should be there. i would love a news but, segment from you but right as right as this was starting there was an, a lady that walked in it was really sad she's like an old lady and she was like she was like i need a hot shower my water isn't working so we got real serious right and as you guys like Wet me in, and I. I don't and you're know. in a cowboy hat, what? and you've got the porn stash going. I could really see where this goes, you know. Yeah. Oh, should I do a cold plug? I guess at all. You Kyle. know, nobody's gonna know that that's hot water there. If you wanted to make like a Joe no, Rogan style cold. video, it, that's cold. It, there's no power. There's no heat. There's no hot tub. This is a this is a liberal snowflake tub. Okay. Not a liberal snowflake tub. Yeah, you kind of fell <laughs> off, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You I kinda, did. Yeah, you kind of did. You told me day of. The power's out. I'm miserable. I'm not in a. I'm not in a good headspace. Maybe space. you shouldn't be so. I'm not in a good headspace. Just relapse, my, bro. My my plan for this weather segment. I was so excited for it today, and you just did such a job at it. And it's. I think it's because of the comments. I think it's because of your ego. And I think you need to be checked. You fell off. You. This weather segment sucks. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. God damn, Jeff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My friend that called him before, it's, it's 52, we did an abortion segment. We did degrees. a lawsuit segment. To be fair, you awesome. can't really top that. Look, I'm sorry I'm not like knocking anyone up and I'm not having an abortion, okay? Like, uh, I'm, my life's not interesting. I do have I'm something sober. to tell you. I do have something to tell you, you know, so maybe. No. It didn't land. It didn't land. Ever. God, <laughs> get off the f***ing phone, man. I was trying to have your back. What's going on? It's uh, two, you, in the UV index is slow too. The sunset is going to be at 6.09 p.m. tonight. What's going on with Dude, your mental like health? What's this crisis you're dealing with? What What are you going through? We flew to Austin for no reason. The power's been out in our Airbnb for the last four days. There's nothing to do. Well, why don't you go get a f***ing journal? Go get, your, go get a journal and journal down these thoughts. And write down a goal list for the rest of the year. And... Then write a goal list for five years. Get a Strava. Where you want to be in five years. Start posting on Snapchat. Yeah, go get a f***ing Strava. Yeah. Do some, uh, get some activities logged. Get some achievements I'm, racked I'm up. Gonna, get some of those virtual I medals they give out. Those are fun to receive. Just, honestly, just run I've a mile. I've got to change. Run a mile. Okay. I need to change. I need to change. We'll all yeah. hold you accountable over here at the Jeff of M audience. We're going to hold you accountable. So we will be checking in next week, and we want you shirtless. Fucking doing something show, active. Show no one ever off. asks yeah. me that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can we do I'm that? I'm sorry. Look, people need to hit rock bottom in order to change, and this is your rock True. bottom. So, just be grateful that you hit. This is your rock bottom, and it can't get any worse. And just fucking all uphill from here, buddy. You know, I want to be mean right now. I want to curse you out. I want to and insult you but <laughs> i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna be the bigger man and i'm gonna keep running the show here i'm okay. sorry no don't there's no don't weather there's I'm, I'm in an ice storm 
There's no power. There's no ice storm. You're outside. It's an ice storm. It it it, 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 it melted. It all melted. The trees fell. We don't we don't expect all of them to be look. fucking smacked out of the park, bro. You know look, it's all good. Look, do you see that? Look, the tree broke on their house. It's hell over here. <laughs> hell froze over. I did see that. It looks rough. But it sucks for the people that live in that house. I just imagine that. <laughs> so imagine that yeah. happens and then a laptop can fly no, through it's... your ceiling and hits you in the head. There we go, the ice storm. Can you see it? He can't see it. On your end? Well, they put effects on you. Shake your hat. Shake your hat. Go like this. Huh? That shit is fucking. Uh, a thousand. Get the fuck off the all right. All right, Ryan. Oh, yeah. It's all, go now. it's all good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ryan. Yo, there we go. Damn, he hung up because he knew we were so happy to see Charlie's. We lost everyone, man, with that weather segment. Damn, you know, it's all good. He seemed like he was going through a tough time. It's time. Today's episode is sponsored by Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. With only a fraction of caffeine as a cup of coffee, you get energy without the jitters or crash of coffee. Mudwater leans on mushrooms in their blend of matcha and their blend of chai for sustained energy. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Lion's mane. That's a mushroom for alertness. Cordyceps to help support physical performance. Chaga and Reshi to support your immune system. Turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants. This stuff tastes great. I love to throw a little almond milk in there, some honey, some oat milk if I want to feel real fancy. With all the stuff that they're selling in these grocery stores that is full of ingredients that we don't even know, you know, mud water is the way to go. Mud is 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. Mud water donates monthly to leading psychedelic research centers as mud water believes the country is in a mental health epidemic and sees psychedelics as a useful tool for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems like me. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code JeffFM for 15% off. Thank you, Mudwater. We love you. All right, now back on with the show. So, Jeff, I saw this TikTok. Yeah. Where this woman and her husband, she sits her husband down every week and she makes a PowerPoint for him on all of the things that happened in pop culture. And I think I'm going to do that at some point for this podcast. I'm not to the PowerPoint point yet. Um, but I did make a note of things that happened in pop culture this week. I would love it if you did that. And you could just send over those updates on pop, pop culture because that's what our show is going to be. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? I have a list. Yeah. All right. Um, well, we we touched on Chloe Cherry stealing a $28 blouse. Wild. How much do you think she makes off Euphoria and her other endeavors that she does? I mean, she's the face of like Urban Decay Cosmetics. She does a lot of modeling. Euphoria definitely probably doesn't pay light. Yeah. I mean, season one of anything, you're not like, right? Didn't she get introduced this season? No, she's in. She's not. I don't think she's in the first season. Yeah. But still. Still, she's making. You're, you don't need to steal a $28 blouse. But that's why I think it's so dope. It's kind of, it's probably going to make her cooler, right? Yeah, like, I want to go the, steal all the, a $28 blouse. All the comments blouse. are like, she's just like us. My big debut. Hey, gorgeous girl. Wait, which uh, one's Dage. Chloe Cherry? Chloe Cherry. Girl with the big lips. Big lips. Oh, the the, the hooker. Uh, yeah. Okay. That she plays a hooker. On, She's with Fez. On the show. I love her. Yeah. Have you guys seen her porn? No. No. It's so good. I've um, seen, I've, yeah. You've seen her porn? <laughs> Say it with your chest, Jeff. Uh-huh, honey. I haven't seen nothing. Mm, cancer. No. When you think about it, it does kind of taste like cancerous. Cancer juice. Mm. That's, what, that's what they should call it. So that's it. I feel like I love to see someone steal. I'm not telling the audience out there to like just go steal, but like from a big corporation, go steal. I, I don't I, get caught up. But I like, agree with like there was another influencer uh, girl that stole a Birkin bag, right? Yeah. And she like that's how she blew up was from that. Like I need to be friends with that girl. That's hilarious. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't actually. Sarah is it Sarah Schneider? Sarah, oh, did Sarah Snyder steal a fucking Birkin bag? That's yeah. Like, Sarah Snyder is like the OG bad bitch. She's cool. She's, that's what I'm saying. She's a cool girl. She dresses so cool. If you saw her Instagram, I don't think you would necessarily immediately think she's like, what the f it's like that to steal a fucking Birkin. Yeah. But then it's kind of like Julia Fox energy too. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like just, our energy, you know? I love like that. I miss stealing every single day. Yeah. Like the rush of stealing. Open up, open up. 
Ugh. knowing that you don't have to pay for it, like getting home even, it's like the feeling of like, I didn't buy this, but now I have it is sick. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get caught stealing soon. Maybe that's my next like PR stunt. I wasn't much of a shoplifter ever like, really. I would equate walking through that metal detector with like a pocket full of like shit you want as satisfying as you feel when you like run through the finish line of an Iron Man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm like, I make running reference so Jeff gets it. Yeah, well, no, because it's different because that's like, I'm, I'm satisfied because my extremely hard work I, it exactly. paid off. So just stealing some it, it, You don't it, think stealing's hard That's work? a good reference. It worked. You got my attention. But anyways, people are really mad that Kylie Jenner wore this lion head to award <laughs> show. Should we just move on? Yeah, what's the deal with that? And then the, uh, there was another girl there wearing the same outfit. And uh, she got salty about it. Like, what the? Fuck? I, I guess I would be too if I wore, wore the. No, she, no one outfit. got salty. No one got salty. She, she sat front row, and then I guess they were wearing it in the show. It's kind of an honor if a designer wants you to wear something that someone's walking in, like in the front row to watch it. Oh that's yeah. Not like a, but I I don't know if it was a real lion head or not. I saw a pretty funny TikTok where they show Kylie, and then they zoom out, and they have the model walking with it, and they zoom in on Kylie again, and she's like. Like you, like somebody wore the same outfit as yeah. you, and it was real. Like she was just watching the show, but it was funny. Like imagine you wear a lion head and you go out, and then somebody's wearing the same outfit. I as mean, you. if it's a real lion head, obviously that's like up animal cruelty. No, it's I not a real. Yeah, lion I don't head. think it was a real lion head. Uh, so, oh, but people were mad that it like yeah. What's the word? Like promotes that. I would do something like that like an idiot. I just let my stylist put everything on me. Like I would just be like, oh, dope. Do you um, want to go get a pedicure together after this? Serious. I need to. My feet are bad. I got things hanging off them. I just got a pedicure. Oh, I have did a you? We also have that meeting. Oh, oh we, we have, have a, a meeting, meeting too. I have a house call pedicure lady. Should we get house call pedicures? <laughs> we should do that on the podcast one time. Uh, but the fun <laughs> part about the pedicure is like you get your feet in that warm water, you know? Oh, they bring that? Oh, how? I do it. I, they just have like a tub thing that like does it. I do oh, it for my yeah? couch, smoking a joint. It's everything. Oh my God. Damn, it's you, everything. you figured out life. You really got it. But also not at all. You know what I mean? Um, we should get a pedicure though. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, no, you do. You're happy, right? I'm very happy. When you get to do stuff like that. and I'm the happiest I've been in a long time. Is it because this... sobriety, new boyfriend, good friends around? Yes and no. Yeah. Like, I just feel like I've rid of a lot of toxicity in my life. I'm making an avid effort to, like, be the best me I can be. A lot of things that I've been working on and hoping for are finally coming to fruition. Like, 2023 just feels like a really good year so far. Yeah. And I remember, like, Except I, for the I... Chinese balloon. Yeah, man. That's kind of and throwing a wrench in the middle of it but yeah you know what I was, ju I was just thinking that who knows yeah who knows it could just be a civilian just messing around for a youtube clickbait thumbnail i have one more topic real quick okay i have a few more but um, instagram may now consider paid verification following elon musk's launch of twitter blue good come come all i won't use, i don't use either now i just snapchat and podcast i'm the definition it's so funny when elon musk did that no one was pissed about it except for like entitled influencers yeah, being yeah. like i worked so hard for this like, yeah. da, 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 da. like no one was pissed except for them i remember the day i got verified on instagram it was a big deal do you yeah, yeah i remember the day yeah. i got verified on Twitter. mcdonald's verified you it was really nice i was like at coachella it was like Fucking sick, right? Was I? Yeah. Yeah, I was at Coachella and Jack texted me, check your Instagram, and it was like just Jeff with a blue check. I was like, damn, this is sick. Yeah. It was a really nice moment. I don't remember the day. Now it's gone. Instagram. Now it's yeah. now it's worth nothing. I, for Twitter, it didn't really bother me, but for Instagram, I use that blue fucking check like my life depends on it. You know what I mean? Like to slide into the DMs. To, yeah. Podcast guests you know, that I don't just, ever ask just, to come on, but it's it's it helps it's with a, a lot tool, of shit yeah. for sure which sucks you know what i mean that like societally you have that and you automatically get so much more of what you want which makes sense why they're selling it you know what i mean because it's yeah. like something that everyone wants like it's you know what i mean it's kind of like but, an nft it was right. like a like a thing of value but it's really nothing like a blue check means nothing, but I just brought it yeah. up like it was the day my child was born. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I remember the day. 100%. It, I mean, that's everything with things that bring social value. None of it mm -hmm. really matters. Like if you have dope clothes I think or for dope me, cars or all that society places value. Yeah. On. For me, it, like as a, as a drug dealer, you're always looking for that validation. You know, you're making money and you have those things. You have like nice house, nice car. You have freedom, but you don't have 
a thing to say when you're talking to an actual like human being like a, yeah like a respectable yeah. human that has like a good job or career or whatever yeah you make kind of the same money like if i was talking to a doctor like i make the same amount of money as, as this guy but i can't say what i do so i was always chasing that validation and yeah. then when i finally got it i was like i don't have to do any of that anymore you go full throttle in this yeah. and it was like just reassure me like okay you are actually yeah but it, i mean but there's no whatever. substance to it you know what i mean yeah, when people actually bullshit. place their like self-worth on that i feel like i notice that so much more when i'm sober too like even this past week just going to like dinners and people being yeah like she literally has like twenty thousand followers she doesn't mean anything i'm like oh my god people are so fucking jaded like yeah. in the head mm -hmm. of like social currencies like it's actually but like, we are fucked. too you know i try to really 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 like if I catch myself saying or thinking anything in a realm like that to immediately like rewire my thought right there. Cause it's just like, I don't want to be that. I get the ick so hard from that. It's a funny joke, but if you're actually basing your self-worth and self-righteousness and thoughts and movements on that, you're lost. As and you'll realize that at one point. I've definitely yeah. been, you know what I mean? I got married for clout. Like I've been <laughs> dark, deep down that. But when you come yeah. out of that, you're like, oh my God, like how embarrassing. Well, and the rest of the world thinks that and sees that. They're like, how embarrassing, you know? Yeah. I remember that shit. I was looking at you guys getting married. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah, but at the time, you're like, oh, my God, four million stories. Like, yeah. But that's, and that's we, not And then we went to, to the second wedding. Second wedding. You you went to that too, right? Er, Erica Costells. Did Erica, he get married? Did oh, Costell? yeah. Then we went to the Team 10 house wedding. But I don't know if that was before or after. Hopefully before. I, went there, I, I used saying. to go there to cut his hair. And they had like a wedding for his vlog. He was daily vlogging at the time yeah. he's fighting tommy fury have you seen the um promos for it yeah tommy is confident that he's gonna win but his family is saying that if he loses he needs to stay in abu dhabi or saudi arabia and change his name and change his name that he has he's to... backed out a lot right yeah and he just had a baby just had a baby says he's in the best shape Fucking of his life idiot. yeah i don't know i'm excited to see the fight so am i honestly but in saudi arabia i'm not going in. Yeah. i don't care what mike says to me to convince me to go and be in his vlog i'm not i going. will go Huh? Burger review in Saudi. Yeah, I will yeah. absolutely go. We should go. Yeah? Absolutely. Sounds fun as shit. If honestly. Mike's burger reviews pay for it, uh, he's got no budget for that damn show. He's I got know. so many erectile dysfunction ads, but no budget. <laughs> I'm not buying a Saudi Arabian plane ticket. It's going to cost thousands of dollars. Absolutely not buying a Saudi Arabian plane and ticket. And then also think what he'll expect from you if he pays for it. Mike, yeah. Oh, Mike if is I... so funny when he pays for it. Yeah, he will rub that my face the entire trip i would rather sell my body on a street corner to pay for something than allow mike malak to pay for it and i have always said that same same <laughs> it's actually funny though it you're looks going... like we both want something oh my y'all are y'all are good <laughs> um what was i gonna say he's going to australia soon i really want to go to australia like i miss it and i was like mike i'll be your ig whore like just fly me out what did he say to that he said yes but then i then i backtracked i was like wait no actually i don't mean that yeah you can't be nobody's ig whore I now you're in a relationship i also just can't be anybody's ig whore in general because i'm such a bitch like so much of that is like i sometimes i felt like your ig whore at times no, you Wow, you've been you've been my IG whore for yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't want to be in that. New York. Yeah, I don't want to be that. No, but like no, it was like New York, and then it was like do this Halloween costume, do this Halloween costume, do this Halloween costume, <laughs> do this paparazzi oh photo shoot. I just called them, and they were gonna be here in yeah, fifteen minutes. October was rough. October yeah. is always like for the past five years. I've been just getting pimped out. It's and I, it's always the worst month of my year for sure. Fun, but the the hardest. It doesn't feel good being someone's IG whore. But I mean. When I say IG whore, I'm referencing that someone else is paying for everything. So it really has nothing to do with IG at all, actually. Just like when someone else is paying like for everything. Instagram model, it doesn't have to have anything to do with it. You yeah. Know? Like just that you're, yeah. But I definitely, you're, you're my clout token. Yeah. But, but now, I, now I clickbait myself on Snapchat. I use my own body. And my nipple. I did use your nipple by accident once. But you see it. Let me tell you something. I know you wanted to get into the Snapchat creator program and they rejected you because yeah. you, you are, are not brand friendly, which I we're working been, on because you've changed. And I, I hope they're all watching this. The whole Snapchat headquarters is I've all watching this. I've been begging them to be on the creator program. You have millions of followers. Bryce Hall showed me how much money he's making on Snapchat. And it's actually like, it's it's dark. It's crazy. Is yeah. It, so I is asked it above them, 50,000 a month? Yes. A lot more above yes. that? You know what I like about it though? It's, I know you have to 
post like 50 times a day and it's like you're making a whole YouTube vlog. Yeah. But you just do it on Snapchat. No, that's the easiest thing in the world. You just take yeah. a million photos. You can do it all at once. It's crazy that people are making so yeah. much money for that. It, I just document my day, my workout routine and all the stuff that I felt like it was yeah. like annoying to post on yeah. Instagram. And it'll make me go do things. Like I didn't want to go ride bikes with Mike yesterday. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I'll film some funny him in that stupid outfit. And I'll So for it. people who don't know, Snapchat is basically paying creators to post snapchats regularly but allow them to place like f four to five ads in between well we don't every place five... them they do no that th allow them oh, to place yeah, oh yeah, yeah yeah um in between every four or five snapchats and creators are making bank on it they rejected me apparently i'm not brand safe enough um snapchat i just want to let you know if you want to reconsider i will post They're flowers this guy. i'm loving it guys flowers <laughs> and gardens and bibles and my bibles. my health journey and yeah. charitable donations i just gave money to a homeless man the other day i could have i could have filmed that you know on some on some night shift and um, <laughs> just like to have your phone in the guy's face here. absolutely yeah, yeah. Here, yeah snapchat it doesn't have to be what you think it is i have plenty of platforms for my holes and see that's exactly immediately <laughs> why i'm not gonna get it it's supposed to be pg-13 they say like uh you know that's fine I, I which is wild because everybody puts a girl's as their thumbnail and yeah. i i can't do that i understand that bryce is making millions of dollars from doing it mm -hmm. i just can't you know with it's it's like the same as we were talking I about suck before. My day. Hey. Yeah. this isn't like necessarily all girls though. sometimes they'll clickbait him, himself and i'm down to pimp myself and out a lot of just normal too honestly like just his, his day yeah no he yeah. does that but i'm saying the end the last post that you do is, is your, your thumbnail. thumbnail so that's how you get Mm -hmm. the views and the money mm -hmm. you know otherwise it's nothing you just get like a normal normal day snapchat please it's fun please it's a lot of fun like please yeah She's snapchat ready. please I'm she reformed. won't even vape on it you at know? all i'm reformed as how could you frick. do that could you like not vape on you because do you think i just would like, like <laughs> you'd have to stop the snaps and then re, re hit the vape and then redo it after <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I, you know, it's it's gonna be a real struggle, but I think I'm capable. I don't know. I don't want to vouch for you, and then you know that. Yeah. Then Honestly, Tana posts like like twenty TikToks a day. I feel like fifty Snapchats would be nothing. Easy. Absolutely. She would do a hundred. That's why it upsets me because it's one thing when it's like a paid opportunity that I wouldn't love to do. Yeah. And it's like okay, whatever. I would. I do that. For I know. Free. I, I know. would love to do that. And I would love to ride your clout off that. And I would love to ride your clout off yeah, of that. Yeah. 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 Well. That's the closest we'll ever get to sexting. Was that Let's wrap it up, huh? We got to go. We got an important phone call for a guest. Uh, yeah. Or I won't say. Did it censor it? Is it on this huh? episode or it's over? Episode's done. Give me anything you want to say? Oh, bye, guys. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Jeff Thank you. Thank you, bro.